Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop yet again. And at the time of filming, we're still in the middle of winter. It's actually early January. Um, and this video, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, is about modification that I'm doing or have done to the diesel heater. Um, it's actually something that I didn't really detail before. Um, and I was gonna use this video to detail it. And that is because a lot of people have asked how I've done it. Now, where I am here in the UK, in Scotland, I can go and buy from the pump kerosene or red diesel or heating oil, whatever you want to call it. Um, I went and bought 100 litres the other day and it was 99p a litre for kerosene. I buy it in 25 litre barrels, drums. I bought these drums off Amazon, I think. Um, they come with the, the cap fitted on them. Um, and they're designed for any sorts of liquids. They're fuel proof, you know, it's what they're designed for. So I went and bought some of these. Um, now, how did I convert that diesel heater to run off the internal tank to the external tank? Um, and again, that's what a lot of people have asked. So, the long and short of it is, all I've done is just rerouted the plumbing. Um, I'll try and describe what I've done and how I've done it. Um, and all the links should be below to the fittings that I've used. Um, I can supply them as well. I've got them on my website. Um, certainly within the UK anyway. I suspect if you looked hard enough, you'd be able to find them in your country as well. Um, so yeah, um, I'll try and get this set up and sort out and show you how I've done it. Okay, so it's, it's a bit well packed in here just now. Um, so it's a bit awkward to actually take the lid off and show you. but. At this end of the tank that's internal to the heater, there's an outlet at the bottom. The fuel tubing from that goes into the pump and then from the pump goes into the heater itself. All I've done is cut the fuel line off the outlet of this tank, cut it off the, the tank side of the pump and then fitted a length of Tigon fuel tubing. This Tigon fuel tubing is then routed out the back of the uh, casing on the machine. Um, I think there's actually two holes on the back of my one. Your one might well be different. And then this comes round to this effectively bigger tank. What we've got here is what I would call a fuel tank, a fuel cap fitting. So it's a, a threaded section with a fuel barb either side of it. Um, And then on the inside, there's another piece of fuel tubing onto the, the back of the fitting that goes all the way to the bottom of this tank so it can reach right to the bottom. The other thing which I've got down here, I don't know how well you're gonna see that, is just a vent hole. Nothing exciting. Um, it's just that it, this doesn't suck this tank dry. and No, totally suck it in. Um, it's got a, a way to breathe. On screen now, I'll put like a, a picture of one of these because um, I haven't just got one to hand right this second, so you know what I'm on about. To fit this fitting into the cap, all you need to do is just drill a hole in the centre and then put the fitting through it and put the nut on the back, tighten it up. It's as easy as that. Because then you've got a nippled barb fitting on the outside and the inside. You cut your length of fuel pipe to go from there down to there. You fit it on with the clunk as well. And then you just prime it through as normal. That's as easy as it is. Um, it's nothing difficult. It's nothing complex. As I said, there's nothing complex about it. It's nothing difficult. It just makes it a lot easier and a lot less infrequent to fill up the tanks. Actually, I don't actually transfer the fuel anymore. I basically take the lid out of one and put the lid and clunk line and feed line into another full one. And then the dregs, I'll pull it fill in a pour from the empty one into the full one um, so you're continuously cycling through and then once I'm down to my last full one I go and get another four filled up um, so yeah it's as simple as that really there's no nothing there's nothing at all I can think of the only tools you'd need would be a drill and drill bit of the appropriate size for the fitting to go through the cap 
Uh, you might need a pair of pliers or uh, sorry, a pair of snips or a knife just to cut the fuel tubing off the tank internal to the heater and off the pump. And it might be advantageous to have a cup of really hot water to dip the fuel line in to soften it up to get it onto the barge. Other than that, there's no real tools required. Um, so yeah, that's it really. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free feel free to ask them in the comments below. Um, if this is helpful, please let us know, give us a thumbs up, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully we'll have uh, videos coming out quite regularly, and obviously non-model non related things. Um, but yeah, it's all stuff that is related in a roundabout way to being in our workshop. But uh, from me here in the workshop, that's now quite toasty warm, I'll see you next time.